Mag Flow Meter The Mag 650 is a magnetic flow meter that determines the flow of conductive liquids in pipes such as water, acids, caustic and slurries. Well, the working of this instrument is very simple. When magnetic field is applied around a pipe, the flow of a conductive liquid through the magnetic field will generate a voltage signal to be sensed by electrodes located on the flow tube walls. This voltage generated is directly proportional to the flow. The uniqueness about this product is that it does not obstruct flow and has no moving parts. Hence, debris or solids will not interfere with the flow measurement. Also, its rugged lining provides outstanding electrical insulating properties. The MAG650 measures the rate of flow and total quantity of fluid passing through it. It is available for line sizes ranging from 1 inch to 3 inches. Unboxing This meter comes with an indicator integrated with a sensor along with the user manual. The enclosure of the meter is suitable for all kinds of weather and is IP65 certified. It's available either with RS485 or 4 to 20 milliampere current output. The sensor pipe is internally lined with either rubber or Teflon. Having said that, please check the configuration on the rear side of the meter supplied to you. It will have information about the line size, lining and output type. Now that we are pretty much acquainted with the device, let us step through its installation process. Installation Please remember, it is very important to understand the installation process to make the best use of our products. The flow through the sensor should be in the same direction as the arrow indicated on the sensor. In case if it is installed in the wrong direction, the meter will display reverse. Make sure that the sensor is never dry and is always filled with water. Therefore, it is always advisable that the measuring line is in U-shape. Now after having installed the meter following the flow direction, the display of the meter can be rotated up to 270 degrees for viewing convenience. Always install the sensor upright and not in horizontal plane. Always install the meter above ground level, as installing the meter in a sump can cause irreparable damage in case of flooding. The length of the inlet and outlet pipelines should be 5 times the diameter at the inlet and 3 times the diameter at the outlet. Please ensure the meter is not exposed to any kind of vibration or movement. Also ensure that it is not exposed to any magnetic field. The meter assembly is very heavy and needs to be properly supported in the piping. The support should be provided on the sensor pipe and not on the jacket. Wiring connection the meter is supplied with a 2 meter long power cable which should be connected to a 230 volt AC 50 Hz power supply. The meter has a gland that can route the output wire to the connection. A 2 core round cable of 6 to 8 mm diameter can be inserted through the gland and the wires should be terminated at the PCB maintaining the positive and negative polarity. Meter Operation Having understood the installation and wiring, let us now understand the operation and settings of the meter with both RS485 output and 4 to 20 mA output. In case of flow meter with 4 to 20 mA output, one must know the factory settings for zero, that is, value of flow rate at which transmitter will give 4 mA current and span, that is, value of flow rate at which transmitter will give 20 mA current. The value for zero is always fixed at 0, 0, 0.00 meter cube per hour. To change the span settings, let us step through the following guidelines. By pressing scroll and select CH keys simultaneously, the display will ask for password. Enter the password 678 using scroll and select CH keys and press menu to enter. The display will now show span and on pressing menu again, 
it will show a previously set value. We can change the required value using scroll and select CH keys and press the menu key twice to save. In case of flow meters with RS-485 output, if more number of instruments are connected through the same wire, then each instrument should have a specific address called as device address. To set the device address, let us press scroll and select CH keys simultaneously. When the display asks for password, enter 345 using scroll and select CH or ACK keys and then press menu. Now display will show baud rate. Using select CH key, we can choose the baud rate as 4800 or 9600 and press menu to enter. The display will now show device ID. Using scroll and select CH key, we can set the device ID. Press menu to save and exit. Please note, the maximum number of device address settable is 99. Troubleshooting. If the display shows reverse, check flow direction and see if it is installed against the direction of the flow. Remove the fitting and rotate it in the direction of the flow in the pipeline. Adjust the display orientation for proper view. If the display still shows reverse, then increase the flow and check if the display is showing any reading. Now, if the display shows some reading, then do the zero adjustment using the password 101 after ensuring that the pipe is completely filled with water and the actual flow is zero. If the display remains zero even if the pump is on, check if any downstream valve is closed. If the display shows error, ERR, message, it is possible that there is air in the pipeline or flow is higher than the maximum flow range. In case of air presence in the pipeline, check that the installation has been done in the correct manner. That is, the sensor fitting shouldn't be dry and must always be filled with fluid. If the meter shows no display, it could be because of inadequate supply or high voltage. In such cases, check input supply and make proper connections. Check if the fuse is burnt and requires to be replaced with a new one of 630 milliampere. Difference in reading. If there is a difference in reading between the actual flow and the display reading, then check the flow constant value by pressing scroll key. Check if the flow constant is same as the factory setting mentioned in the user manual. If not, set the flow constant value. Let us understand how to do these settings. By pressing scroll and select CH keys simultaneously, the display will ask for password. Enter password 1, 2, 3 using scroll and select CH keys. Press menu. Now, the display will show flow constant. Set the flow constant value as mentioned in manual using scroll and select CH key. We can increase or decrease the flow constant to match the displayed reading with actual flow reading. Press menu. Now the display will show exit. Press menu again to save and exit. For any further details or query, please contact our nearest dealer or visit our website www.embarkwater.com. Thank you.